Welcome back to Thy and I Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we solidified our new goal. We needed to go find bits of metal for Origin so that we could build Mr. Samon, his ultimate vessel. And we are going to fix it. As Noah puts it, we will fix the ultimate vessel. But for now, we need to prepare. We need to prepare ourselves mentally, physically, emotionally, and, you know, monetarily. Because we're doing quests. We're back in Colony 9 where there is so much gossip, it looks like. I already see three bits. There's a, a lot to do now that we're in a new chapter. And we're going to start off strong. Spongy spuds are so, so good. I could eat them by the sack load. That's the power of a good potato. I know I can always make space for them in my belly. Like I said, the power of a good potato. This is some story. Those spongy spud things, they're delish. So much so that I wonder if it's almost lunchtime all the time now. It sounds like Colony 9 is doing pretty well for themselves. I mean, I'm very glad that they have something that they love so much that they can't wait to eat. That's always good. No, Miyabi, please, I understand that you're probably pretty new to a lot of the foods in the world, but, like, we are not, it's not food time. It, in a bit, later, after gossip, we can eat when we're done for working today. When we went salvaging with Ellis, she met up with a Nopon caravan. Oh, did she now? Did you buy ether from them? They told her that a place called Hope's Rest had fertile soil for gro growing plants, but it seems pretty far away, to be honest. Oh, that absolutely sounds like a quest, doesn't it? Oh, that means there is another bit of gossip. We are playing as Tyon, I should point this out. I have plenty of things to, um, you know, ascension quests to shoot for. So, in the effort to do that, Lands is now a Mobius. Senna is now the agent of a Mobius. And, you know, Tyon is on fire. But, you know, that's par for the course for Tyon. He does love his giant flame spear. Triton and uh, Sigiri. They're the ones that we're going to focus on next with uh, Lands and Senna. So that's the goal for the combat-oriented stuff. Give me more gossip. Shut up about your normal gossip. I need the advanced gossip. What's that you're looking at? Data from the Cadencia region? What's going on in Cadencia? Yep, Ellis asked me to find the data for her. Oh, she's probably looking into advanced agricultural techniques. A bit of good intel is always important. And then the keen-eyed few of you watching will notice that there is a question mark in Colony... Well, you wouldn't know by just location, but it is in Colony Gamma. It's in... Um, I was about to say Izzard's Colony, but no, it's in Teach's Colony. And we will eventually get over there, depending on... Oh, don't jump in the water. Ah, uh, fine. I have the map. I can get back. But depending on... How quickly we do the quests that will inevitably spawn from this gossip. Then we can do those quests. Because I'm going to, as we do at the beginning of all of these uh, chapter beginnings, we're going to go and do a refresh of Ionios and see how everyone is doing everywhere all at once. Well, not all at once. I wish it could be that efficient. But no, 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 no. Unfortunately, that's not the case. All right, fine, Miyabi. I promised food. You can have some food. Did we learn... We didn't get Manana's recipe from any of this, but let's, you know, we've heard so many good things about the potatoes. Let's have some baked spongy spuds. Manana, I hope you get absolutely inspired from this. Spongy spuds, Tyon. It's not that hard to believe. Two rolls. Mountain lifting soup. It's incredible. Collectible boosts. 50%. That's pretty nice. Don't we have a few things to discuss? Oh, no. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That's Gondor's Ascension Quest, and this is someone's Ascension Quest? Curious about training. I don't know who this is off the bat for. Anyway, we're doing the side quests first. Spongy Spud Evil needs Xeon. Ellis is just her own thing. All right, well, lots of things to talk about, and potatoes are two-fifths of them, so they're important. Anyone else get the feeling that Colony 9 folks might be eating a bit too many of the spongy spuds? Seemed to me like they really fell in love with them, yeah. They always seem to be eating them. Well, I mean, if they can get an entire country through a terrible famine, I'm sure they can, you know, make an entire tiny colony subsist on them for a while. It's probably not that detrimental. 
eating them is one thing, but did you hear him talking about saving Ionios with them? Well, I mean, if there, if any tuber could save the world, it would be the humble spud. Isn't that what we're doing too, curiously enough? Tyon, are you comparing us to potatoes? Well, I mean, like, again, they're pretty fantastic tubers, but, like, can you combine potatoes with more slightly different potatoes to get some kind of super tuber? What is another... Tuber. I are gourds technically tubers or are they gourds? I don't know. They're like uh uh fallout, tatoes, potato and tomatoes, tatoes. They probably are awful. Of course it's not, or um is it? I mean like if we Mr. Potato headed up some of our skills, we could probably get the Ouroboros power to reach new heights. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, if nothing else, spongy spuds are helping ease the food shortages so people don't have to fight so hard over resources. Definitely a benefit. I will not say no to finally getting Colony 9 out of the gutter when it comes to food. And if they don't have to fight, isn't that saving the world? In some sense, at least. Mio, you... Your logic is impeccable, but like, they're potatoes. We don't need to worry about them that much. Don't get me wrong, I'm not arguing with the logic. I'm just trying to point out that there's an important point you're missing. The potatoes, they're kind of the 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 the, the symptom of the problem. What's the byproduct of the solution? I mean, we've instituted a good procedure for getting food, and then you have the potatoes, and like they're they're the byproduct. I guess I guess that's an apt way of putting it. Although, if you were making a point, Uni, maybe you should come out and say it before I draw any unnecessary conclusions. It's this, eating nothing but potatoes is boring as all get out. Well, I mean, you can you can do so much with, with the humble spud. I mean, you could boil it, you could mash it, you could stick it in a stew, you could fry it, you can put it in a hair curler and make some curly fries. It would be truly, it's a truly versatile vegetable. I mean, like, it... If you are ever stuck on a desert, deserted, not deserted, if you are stuck on an island and you can only take one vegetable, pick the humble spud. It's very good. Manana cannot take that line that Manana knows exactly what's up. Potato cuisine contain hidden depths. Amount of possible variation so high is practically endless. I, I, I agree with Manana one bajillion percent. With wings of banana at spatula, can eat potatoes all life and never not be satisfied. Well, I dare say this might just be banana's time to shine then. I want a full five-course meal consisting solely and nothing but potatoes. Seeing as how that lot always basically just steams their spuds, I think that might be a mercy. Are you telling me that they have fallen so deeply in love with the humble potato, but all they do is steam it? No kind of accoutrements? No herbs, no spices, just water vapor and heat. Oh, we have to go talk to Kite and Zeon, because this is unacceptable. Manana will get on case immediately. Time to save world with potatoes is now. I steamed, steamed spuds, just atrocious. Spongy spud eval, like Zeon. What do you have to say about all of these potatoes? Everyone's talking up the spongy spuds. I mean, like, they should, but like... If all they're doing is steaming it, I have words. They're mouth-watering, even if you just... Why are we settling for this, though? Why are we settling for just steaming the potatoes? That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Didn't I say they were... Well, like, I won't... That's not... I'm not disputing the, the wonderful pack-a-punch flavor of the potato, Zeon. But, like, only steam. Like, not even any kind of butter... I mean, like, I'm sure we could find some Anlud butter or something. I mean, like, I'm sure, I'm sure if we got desperate enough, I could even make some out of, like, some, some bonnet or something. You look well made. If they can make milk out of stupid peanuts, I can turn that milk into butter. It's all dairy, right? Like, I can make, I was about to say nut butter, but that's, mmm, questionable at best. Not surprised. He got teary eyed just from eating them raw. Why are we settling for such tasteless methodology of eating the potatoes? Steamed? Raw? We might as well just settle for eating the dirt off the ground. Not just that. We can reliably raise a sizable yield without much difficulty. This has put a lot of minds at ease. Well, I mean, like, yes, you can get a lot, but just raw, Zeon? 
I think it's safe to say spongy spuds are the key to Colony 9's survival. Well, I mean, it's not too late to introduce some variety. The whole colony seems much brighter now. Everyone's getting a go at working in the fields. I mean, everyone has to have their play their part, after all. When people are less anxious, they're less prone to confrontation, too. Why would anyone ever want to fight on a full stomach? Unless you're into that kind of thing. That, that could be their foreplay, I guess. I just wish we had a similar way to reduce intercolony hostilities. Can we not spread the potato, as it were? I mean, we can... I mean, if, if colony... If colony... Omega, oh, colony Gamma, colony... What is Izzard's colony? Colony... What is... If, if the turtle colony has got the stupid ether deposits, we could be the colony of the potato. We could we could sell them through the Nopon caravans to everyone. Noah has an idea, don't we? Maybe we should give it a try. What a try? The selling the potato thing? Yeah, I'm lost. Let's try spreading spongy spuds to other colonies. We can start with Colony Tau. I have a feeling that they would love to get their hands on some of our potatoes. They'd solve food shortages and maybe help a little with the tension and the anxiety of war. Colony 9 certainly works as a successful test model, but are you sure it's going to work? Why wouldn't it work? Why wouldn't it? We'll do our best to make it work. Hunger makes it hard to think rationally. It eats away at the heart. An empty stomach is an empty heart, and no one wants that kind of thing on their conscience. We need to free people from that anguish. Zeon, you are an incredible driving motive for this. Then let's get going. Spread the good news and the good word of the spud. We can't waste any time. I'll call some friends. We'll continue this conversation in Colony 9 Commander's office. Well, I guess we're becoming a crusader for the potato. Crusader for the potato. There we go, I guess. Uh, we can talk about the rest of this stuff later. We're doing one quest at a time so we don't lose any of the context. And also so I'm not sitting at a table making nonsense commentary for 20 minutes because no one wants that no one no one no one no one no one wants that where oh i need zeon in the party don't i oh that would be oh that's awful you need my help. that really zeon as much as i appreciate that fact he really puts it can i oh, this is stupid i know this is stupid i know this is lands has nothing because <laughs> Spoiler alerts, I've gone through the entirety of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 without fighting a single unique monster. So, this class is literally bare bones and completely, nearly useless. Can we just level you up to level 10? Yeah, that'll, you know, take some of the pressure off. Can I also, here, put you on signifier duty. Who is Senna? Senna is Sagiri. Well, I guess we're playing as Senna right now because I am not having this few healers senna you're taking over hopefully this goes well moderately well at the very least passable if we can succeed it's a success so as we discussed earlier we want to teach other colonies how to grow the spongy spuds count me in conflicts over food supply are tragic if there's anything we can do to help ease them we should oh well, i guess places with poor weather or bad crops would owe us a favor Looks like no one objects. Of the only two people who are allowed to vote and are currently in my pocket, they've agreed, so we're good. I mean, this is great and all, but how exactly are you going to go about doing this? You can't just hand over a spud and call it done. Well, that's essentially what Tao did. I mean, like, they just gave us a potato and be like, here, put this in the ground and, you know, water it three times a day or whatever. We could just be like, here's a spud, put it in the ground, and, like, well, don't pee on it, because that would probably introduce a fair amount of ammonia into the soil, and that wouldn't be good. Don't don't pee on the potatoes. It would give them terrible flavors. They might grow because they're potatoes, but like uh, I wouldn't recommend the flavor. You're right. We'll need be able we'll need people to be able to teach on site. We should definitely give them to colonies like oh probably I can't even maybe oh I bet I bet I bet colony. Mew would probably get the most uh, immediate relief from this. I'd like Rold and Kite to take care of that. Work with the people in charge. Listen to what they want. Will do, boss man, commander, sir. We'll need to suss out. Oh, suss out? We need to suss out the best imposters for the colonies for cultivation. And then discuss them with the leaders. Well, I suppose we could do that. 
but the most important thing right now is the soil. Yeah, the soil needs earth wormwood, right. I've done some analysis on that front. Colony 4 and Colony Mew. Oh, I was right with Colony Mew. Colony 4. Colony 4. Uh, Boliaris is Colony. Yeah, they probably... Right, they're in the middle of a desert. They should probably get some food. Yeah, I think 4 and Mew are probably the best ones. Two locations. That'll be tricky for the teachers to handle, considering the fact that Colony Mew is all the way out in the middle of an ocean on pretty much the other side of the world. Might be difficult to get there, but we'll handle it. How about we narrow it down to one right now as a test case? Hmm, why don't you pick who we'll approach first? Oh, the ultimate choice. The ultimate choice right now. Oh, who do we want? Colony 4 or Colony Mew? I mean, 4, I, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Colony 4 is currently working with Colony Iota for their supplies. And we do have Colony Iota supplies. We have like 30 of those to give out. Let's... Let's go to Colony Mew. I feel like, I feel like out of all of them, they might need a bit more help than Colony 4. Is that your final answer? Don't, please do not give me the opportunity to change my mind. No, I, I'm good, I'm good. Just, just, just commit, just commit to it. Let's go and talk to the resource bods with Zoan. Uh, wait, what? Okay, let's go and talk to the resource bods with Zeon. Who is Zoan? Appreciate it, mate. I hope this works. I mean, like, Fiona, I, I literally see no earthly reason why Fiona would be like, Oh, no, go, please, I'm not working with you. She'd be like, oh, you're more friends of of, of Lan Lan and uh, Sani and Pickles and Banana Manana, Banana Pie. It'd be great. Everyone would love this. It'll work. This is a good partnership. Where are we going? Spuds are important. I mean, all of these tubers are fantastic. Where are we actually going, though? What is the quest? Crusader for Spuds. Cool. Do we have to go to Colony Mew? We have to go talk to Nico. Of course. Off to Nico at the Cadencia region. Colony Mew area place. The final location will be determined by the rainbow above Senna's head. It's a double rainbow all the way. Even though it's not a double. Uh, Nico, we're coming for you. Rejoice! This soil should be perfect for spongy spuds. You're really getting into this. So very excited, Zeon. Oh, well, I won't. I will not be the one to damper such incredible enthusiasm. Nico, I come bearing the gifts of potatoes. Nico, you got a second? Oh, hi guys, what do you need? Potato delivery. Spongy spuds, you say? Are they really all that? They are all that and more, my tiny friend. They are, without a doubt, the greatest food known to man or beast. Wow, Zeon, you are laying it on real thick today. Wow, that's a confident assertion. You're damn right about that. Yeah, sorry, this guy's really into the potatoes. I don't... I mean, like, he once ate one raw in its entirety, right out of the ground, dirt and all. I mean, like, when, he, when we say he's into potatoes, we mean he is into potatoes. Oh, excuse me. It'll, it'll destroy your vocal cords. If you're worried about how to prepare the fields, no need. Colony 9's willing to sp send over experienced labor. So, how about it? Nico, are you up to risk it all with potatoes? Nico has to admit, Nico doesn't eat many potatoes, but Nico, and just to be clear, I'm Nico, is willing to entertain the notion. I'll talk it over with the others. You don't mind if I have, if I don't answer right away, do you? Of course, take all the time you need. You absolutely need to dedicate an appropriate amount of time to concern yourself and all of the rest of you in the colony with the uh, appropriate response for this immense topic. Answer wisely, though, because this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We'll head back to Colony 9. Will we? We couldn't have just, you know, called them on the iris? I mean, like, why, why do we exist? Why do the irises exist if we don't have the opportunity to be like, Oh, yo, Nico, potatoes? You want some potatoes? We could send over the labor. Why do we have to make a round trip? Fine. Con concern yourselves. Get all of the answers you need. And then get back to us. Oh, we have to go back to the Etia region. Time to eat then, huh? 
No, no, it is not. We're we're we haven't even finished digesting the other potatoes. You know how long? Oh God, gossip. Uh, uh we were at Etia region before for gossip, and now we're in Cadencia. We're going out of order. Well, give me the gossip, I guess. What happened with Irma came as a shock, but this ain't no time to be down in the dumps. We have to move on, get stronger than ever. I'm sick of not being able to help Fiona at all. She's the one going through the worst of it, after all. Something tells me that Fiona is stronger than you may think. Too true, it's our turn to be strong and dependable now. That is a wonderful mentality. Changes the foot in Colony Mew. Oh god, there's more gossip. Oh no, I have to hunt down gossip in Mew now. Well, that's fine. Where? 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 Where, Xenoblade, why must you be this way? Let me, oh gosh, where could it be? Oh, hopefully it's not all the way in the flower. Maybe it's up at the top. Let me go look up at the top of the colony, the hill. Overlooking everything up there. Hopefully, hopefully it's just real close by and I don't have to struggle to find it. Because I don't want to struggle to find the gossip. Oh, Tallow, you have no gossip. No one has any gossip. All right, give me a second to find the last bit of gossip. Oh, nope, there it is. I found it. Future me, don't cut away. Nico and the others have been looking busy, haven't they? They've been preparing for the potatoes. They've been a real get-up-and-go-get-em attitude in the maintenance crew. Guess they must want to feel useful to the colony. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. Why don't we lend them a helping hand? Man, everyone in this colony, everyone in all of the colonies, they're just so good. They're just so good. I love all, like, the go get em attitude. It's fantastic. Nico, potatoes. Ermi, that mutter, how could she? If only she had a potato. She went to all that trouble to leave us the key to our hideout, like she meant for us to find it. It's like she wanted us to understand. Like she wanted us to forgive her, maybe. It leaves a bad taste in Nico's, my mouth. It's not hard to imagine that she might have been trying to atone by passing her Mobius records on to you. You're a kind soul, Tyon. Nico's sorry, and I'm just talking about myself here, but I just can't see it that way. Is that the first time we've spoken to Nico? Oh my god, I feel like that's the first time we've spoken to Nico. That is no bueno. I need to talk to people. Like, I really need to get on that. I should do that. Shu, it's probably the first time I'm talking to Shu. If it, if it's just a normal conversation, yeah, we'll have it. Yeah, we're not talking about anything right now. Or we're not eating. Oh, God, it's a quest as well. Oh, there's going to be so many. Oh, <laughs> oh, can I... Is it too late to revise my, you know, in another 20 episodes guess? I feel like it might be closer to, to double that if these quests are... Instead of wasting time babbling on, let's just get back to Etia so we can finish these quests, hopefully. Kite, rolled, we're back. They're open and amenable to the idea. Please allow us to grant them the wisdom of our potatoes. You came at just the right time. Well, considering it was a round trip, it was really the most, well, fortuitous timing ever, I suppose, in that case. We just got word that someone in Colony Mew wants to learn to grow potatoes. Why couldn't they tell us over the iris before we left? Oh, that was quick. I mean, for the people at home, for us, it was like a three-month journey. I was actually about to assign some teachers. Who are the contenders? I was thinking of leaving this one to Earl and Carrie. Our offseer? Well, I mean, not that, you know, offseers can't have other duties, but, like, doesn't the colony need, like, an offseer? We've heard it's full of young people, so we packed the pair that they can feel the most at ease with. And Earl's got a bit of a green thumb. Well, I mean, it sounds like Earl's got all of the qualifications. He has a koala backpack, and that makes him perfectly legible. Amenable. Eligible. There's the word. Right, he was a big help with the fertilizer. Was he? Oh, well, he, he, months ago, it doesn't... Uh, my memory has long since faded. The power of Mobius has blurred to time. I do not remember. So, sorry about the sudden request, but would you guys help? If Earl's in, I'm in. Well, I don't think I'll be much used to be perfectly honest, but... Well, I'm not going to turn my nose up at an opportunity like this. I will spread the good word of the good potato... And it'll be interesting to get a look at an Agnian colony. Plus, they're all around your age, so it would, like... And you know, as Kite said, he's a good judge of character, so I can't deny him his choice of ambassadors, shall we say. Good to hear. The other thing we have to take into consideration is that it's a food people aren't familiar with. 
I mean, you don't have to be familiar with potatoes to be like, this is a good food. Solid, solid taste. The texture is, you know, smooth and buttery, especially if you had some butter. Bit of a roadblock if no one knows how to cook it, yeah? I, if Zeon can eat it raw and everyone else just eats it steamed, I am un unbelievably positive that we can teach them some good recipes. It's literally just be like, stick it in a pot full of water and then just pull it out 20 minutes later and be like, there you go. Eat it, skin it all. It, 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 it is literally one of the most simplest foods to make. We could share our favorite recipes. What do you think? That sounds like Forte of Banana Manana. Manano very well equipped to share goodness of spongy sponges with world. Spongy spuds. The spongy sponges? I, that seems like a completely different food item. Item? What was that verbiage? Or tone? Accent? I don't even know if that was an accent. The voice is going. You can tell. I'm telling you, give him a quick steam. Jobs are good. No, Lance, please do not fall into this pitfall. It's an atrocious thing. It's like, no, 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 no. We are not, we are not... We are not putting this kind of torturous taste onto people. It's like steamed potatoes are pretty good. Like good for a quick snack if you want a potato. But like, no, no, we need more. We need more than just steaming them. If friends serious about spongy spuds, then higher height of deliciousness can be achieved. Again, Manana, you're coming in to save the day. Cooking intuition of Manana say so. Okay, then how about this? We're not giving them raw potatoes, Zeon. We could try and find an original recipe suited to the colony. We can find out about the colony's particular tastes, what they're looking for. I think we'll get a good... I'll get... Blah, 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 blah. Zeon, refocus your brain and your words. Punch yourself in the mouth to reset the tongue muscles. We can find out about the colony's particular tastes, what they're looking for. I think we'll get people on board that way. Yes, that good plan. Manana all for it. It's weird for you to be thinking about how on board people are with a plan. Why? That's all. That's that's what Zeon does. That's his potato and butter. It just means people can change, no matter how many terms they've got in their belt. Well, that's good, I guess. Enough, enough with the bragging and the backhanded flattery. We're worrying about the potatoes. Nothing else. Manana will take care of the recipes. Lands can haul the haul. We can do the asking around. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we could talk to people. Let's get gathering data. We got to go once again back to Colony Mew because, oh, architect forbid we have something as simple as a long range means of communication that we can just be like, oh, you want to do this? And be like, yeah, we could do this. All right, let's bring the potatoes over and make one trip. Instead, we have to go make four trips because efficiency is absolutely not how this works. Perfect. The skip was completed. Oh, there's more gossip. Oh, why is there more gossip? No, wait, those are the people that want to tell us recipes. I'm no good with fluffy cloud ears. They just look so unappetizing. The disappointing thing is if they look just the tiniest bit cuter, I think I'd actually find them palatable, you know? It's it's literally called fluffy. How could you find something that has fluffy in the name, unpalatable? I have to question your, your palettes, not your art palettes. Do they do art in this world? I mean, like, probably not. That's sad. On to more gossip, I guess. Time to eat them. No, man, that's a real tasty looking ration you got there. It's a potato. I just love how crispy it is. I eat them all day, every day if I could. Fries. Looks like these people might love a bit of fried potatoes. Oh boy, if we can introduce them to curly fries, I think we will blow their tiny socks right off of their bodies. I am so done with eating fish. They're just not meant to be eaten every single day, man. All that mercury, all of the mercury in the fish, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta wean yourself off of it. I realize how addicting it can be, especially when you got all of like that silver sauce and it's like, and it's like a liquid, it's like liquid silver and it's like, mm, 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 so delicious, but it's not good for you. You can't eat mercury with every d dinner. It's not, it's not like a shot of honey mead. You, it doesn't work like that. You don't, don't, you gotta stop. We gotta, we gotta introduce some potatoes. Oh, hi, Fiona. How are you doing? Fiona, give me gossip. I decided to hang on to Irma's key for a while. When everyone's ready, I'd like to talk about if we should bury it in the flower garden or not. Oh, and, uh, what if no one's down with that? Well, if that's how it goes, then I'll hang on to it myself. I just think it's important that everyone gets to see Irma, both the good and the bad. I'm glad that people are 
coming to terms with this. The truth is out, and I feel like now everyone, including yourself, Fiona, can heal from this. So, like, one of my recent lunchboxes, I put in a thousand carrot that I shaped like a little star. That's a lot of carrots. That sounds so cute. I'd love to have that in my lunchbox. Who, who do you guys think packs all of the lunchboxes? I feel like... I feel like it would secretly be Tallow. I feel like Tallow would be like, oh, everyone's gonna love this. So what we we have we have all of our gossip and food knowledge. Crispy, cute, and can fit in a lunchbox. Something that isn't fish and doesn't have uh fluffy in the name. French fries. I think I I genuinely think that the people of Colony Mew literally just need french fries i mean like if i was a colony full of children there is literally no dish that is potato starch incorporated that would be like better than just a plate of french fries if we get we we, we gotta get them some ketchup and like literally that would be perfect they have all of the salt in the world because they live next to an ocean it would be perfect ketchup on stuff i think senna knows exactly where we're going with this so about the recipe you've come up with for Colony Mew. Market research was very superb. People of Colony Mew want to feast eyes on cuteness of food before term, tums, before tums on tastiness. They want cute food before tasty food. Got it. I find, I find their preoccupation with the cuteness of their food somewhat irrational. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, this is an episode that is going to be full of the blah blah blahs. But to each their own. It's not irrational. Presentation, very important element of cooking. Heart of people is very sensitive to appearance. Don't we all know it? Single folk stand up. That makes sense. What an ingenious take. We can carve cute little designs on the potatoes before we boil it. We talked about texture with them too. And a good crispiness pulled high. It's like one people said that. We only talked to four people, and only one of them mentioned the texture, so I suppose it tracks. So they want a potato that's cute, but also has a nice mouthfeel. Why are we using that that verb, adjective, that word, mouthfeel? I, it's like that was in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. They wanted the creamy, melty mouthfeel. What is with Nintendo in the word mouthfeel? I don't have any pumpkins, nor cheese. I can't even imagine what that would be. Me neither, Lands. What is this cheese you speak of? Don't you worry, pretty heads. Leave everything to Manana. Manana make cute, tasty food that will never go out of style. So how do we put that into practice? I'll do whatever I... From you! Ho ho ho! Naive, foolish commander. I need nothing from you. Oh. Hey, it's not the end of the world. An image of recipe is like crystal in Manana's mind. Soon is ready for present to Colony Mew. Manana have complete faith in abilities. That's great news. Let's get cracking then. I mean, Manana is the queen of cuisine. If we get Miyabi to help with this, oh, I have a feeling it will turn out flawlessly. Manana, is there anything you need besides the spongy spuds? Please say no. 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 I don't want to go on a collectathon. I don't want to do anything. Please say no. Manana needs six spongy spuds, three portions of full bodied ardent meat, two whole heads of Empress lettuce. And one big juicy broccoli and 2,000 carrots. Not 2,000 carrots. That entirely too many. That is not... That is an appropriate amount of carrots. Especially for an entire colony. We can arrange some of that for you. Oh, why? Why must I do this? Why must I do this thing? You're really buzzing about this, aren't you, Zeon? Quiet lands. Once the ingredients are ready, we can unveil... Oh, excuse me. Manana's creation of Colony Mew. It's really late at night, and my voice is suffering severely from this. Let's have a look at the fields, and then we can talk to Nico about the cooking. Do I have to make the fields as well? I hope I have all of the stuff. I probably don't. I probably have to go and find them. Time to head out. What? Go to Colony Mew Fields. Oh, they probably won't tell me until I discern the qual- Wow, you guys got these quick- it's like I was just over here. How did you grow these potatoes so quickly? That's like 20 seconds ago I was over here and it was like nothing. Everyone seems to be going well here. We just got all the seed potatoes planted. I mean, like, you got that done extremely quickly. Props to you for that, Earl. Earl has a very kind and gentle way of planting. 
Nico feels sure that kind of planting will lead to extremely tasty taters, and I'm her, so I'd know. Actually, that's just how you plant things. If you try and football chuck them straight into the ground, then, I mean, they'll kind of, you know, all over the ground, and then, like, they potatoes don't have seeds, so they won't, you know, grow. You have to cut them in half at the absolute most, and then put them in the ground and be like, oh, pat, pat the soil on top, and then they'll grow. I was just trying to let the seeds know how hard they have to work to grow. Well, I suppose normal potato normal potatoes in the real world have eyes. Not like eyes, eyeballs, but like eyes upon which the stalks and new potatoes grow. They don't have, I don't think potatoes have seeds. Because if potatoes have seeds, then I think you'd be able to taxonomically call a potato a fruit. And I don't think that's ever been a contentious point in the internet. Are potatoes the newest fruit? Earl, you're just too much. Ha, I'm really not, though. Oh, boy. They're getting on well. The, the, um, the humble potato is starchy fantasticness, and it is the permanent sealant behind all bonds of friendship. The foundation of all friendships can be began with the humble potato. Yep. Thank you for that ringing endorsement, Zeon. Time for eating. Do we have all of the things? Or did the potatoes grow? Everyone wash human paws. Uh, banana, they're technically called hands. And we use them for many things other than paws. What do, what do people use paws for? Besides catching up on the latest episode of uh, Dynamite Central. That's not a thing. Dinner. Yeah, moving, moving swiftly along the topics. We know it's hard to incorporate an unfamiliar ingredient into a menu. Literally just fry it in a pan with some butter or oil and you will literally not regret it. Slice it thin, you can make some chips. We can introduce potato chips into the world. Oh my god. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle cut, crinkle cut, uh, kettle fried. Anyway, Manana's got a bunch of recipes all in revolving around the humble potato. Eat up. That's so cool. Where is it? Can eat Nico eat it now? Not out of the ground. We're not do whatever advice Zeon gave you. Just disregard it. It's not appropriate. Oh, Manana's gonna laugh. I'm not gonna do it. Tee hee. Oh God, I apologize for that. That was, that was terrible. Literally, as it was coming out of my throat, I'd be like, "That's terrible." I apologize severely. Time to break from work. To the what work? We didn't do anything. Lens, I realize your armor might be a bit stifling. Now that you have that, you know glorious magenta sheen but like we didn't do any work the most taxing thing we've done all day today spongy spuds are really going to take off around here must keep composure control yourself zeon i realize how curvy the spuds are but like there are children present keep it in your pants man let's prepare the food please tell me i have all of the stuff I really hope I have all of the stuff. Let cooking begin. What was it they needed again? Oh, I'm short of the Arden meat and a thousand carrots. Oh, fine. Fine. I'll go get them. Be right back. And our inventory is now magically full of carrots and Arden meat. For the carrots, if you want to get them measly, the Napon shop trader in the city will sell you 1,000 carrots. So they are $3,300 a piece, so I just went and bought one. And the Arden meat, if you want to get the Arden meat, do note that it does have to be legendary purple quality, but they are very easy to find because there are Ardens outside of Colony Mew. So all you have to do is just go outside the gates and be like, yo, Ardens, give me your meat. And they'll be like, yes, sir, Ouroborosaur, here's your meat. And then you can get a lot of meat. It's not the worst thing in the world. The spud dish. Finally, it is done. Manana, please entertain us with wonderful cooking. Oh my God, look at them. Spongy pawn fried croquettes is finish. Pawn appetite. It's almost too adorable to eat. Lots of cooking episodes back to back. Well, not back to back, but relatively close together. You should eat it, though. It's great. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
It's so crisp and so fluffy. Mmm. <laughs> goo goo just might die. All together, yummy, 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 yummy. Yummy deliciousness. Thank you so much for telling us about the spongy spuds. Nico, that's me. N Natch? N Nico, that's me. Thinks these are going to be a big hit with the whole colony. Well, I'm just glad to hear that. It's still a long way to harvest, though. You have to tend to those fields every day. Don't worry, early will keep us right. Yeah. I, I thought that was Earl for a second there. Like, Earl, you're really embracing the, uh, the, the uh, Agni and lifestyle. Now is exciting to wait for day of harvest of spongy spuds. That's for sure. Everyone is filthy. Man, we really need to take a bath. Although Mio, Mio and Tyon are coordinating impeccably. Good on them. Oh man, they're gonna outclass Colony 9 spuds. I very much doubt that, but it'll be a friendly competition. The harder we all work at this, the richer our day-to-day -day lives will be. By the power of potatoes, the world will shine a bit brighter. At least that's what I believe. Zeon, you're a potato optimist. Opt-to-potatoist. You've made a first, a fine first step today, Zeon. One more step towards your ideal. I've never really thought of it as an ideal, but I suppose you are right, Mio. I suppose it is. And maybe it's just a small step in the grand scheme of things. Every, every potato shared amongst all of these wonderful people of this world is one step closer to the ultimate downfall of Mobius. But for me, it's a pretty big one. I'm glad, I'm glad you find this truly impeccable, Zeon. This took, the recording for this episode is over an hour. I cannot believe I spent an hour. Tao's potatoes, oh god, if I'm gonna get gossip from doing side quests, this cycle will never end. Oh my goodness gracious, if I spent an hour on one side quest that wasn't even an ascension quest, oh, I'll perish the thought about the rest of them. It is all making sense. All right, well, that'll be it for this episode. This wonderful episode of potato starchy focused fried French fries goodness. With the sword in the background and the people of Colony Mew satiated with their French fries and pawn croquettes. We are going to leave this off here. And in the next episode, we are going to see what the future holds for Colony Mew because I have a feeling... Well, I, I, I don't have a feeling. Well, I do have a feeling, and it's one of certainty that there's a side quest to be had here. We're going to be going to Colony Mew, then we're probably going back to Colony 9, and then we're probably going to Colony Gamma, and then we're probably going to different colonies. Oh, it's a colony extravaganza full of side quests and wonder. We're going to be here for quite a while, aren't we? But that's what we signed up for when we're playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So whether you guys watched it for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode of this wonderful side quest potato-focused game. Later!